And today our water throughout the world is contaminated with all kinds of chemicals and it's getting worse. People are going to have to wake up too pretty quick to say, you know, we're running out of water. The solutions for the future are going to depend on us becoming attuned to the natural world and we shed our hubris and become integral with the larger ecological forces that sustain us. Our only hope for a transition to a stable future is one in which um, we embrace the best of indigenous wisdoms around the world with um, the legacy of uh, a modern biology and ecology and the two together should provide the template for the human in the future. So what was sewage yesterday is the water that you're seeing now. Um, so here we're standing in the middle of the wastewater treatment system in a, a five-star resort. Wastewater comes in, taken up by, by the bacteria. Bacterial cells come into these um, tanks here. Living machine technologies are basically ecological wastewater treatment systems. You take wastewater, which is you know wastewater that's generally disposed of, treat it um, to high quality reuse standards and be able to reuse it. As a, as a culture kind of hitting limits, um, and we're hitting limits in, in two main ways. One of those is certainly energy. The other is our water, and here in very basic technologies are needed. You know, people are dying for these things. Um, they don't need to be as expensive as the technologies we've developed here to, you know, save lives. So we built this living machine here to purify the water from my polluted well. Cleaning up yeah, well the water. well. Do you Where want, is that? You want to see the well? Yeah. Okay. Can we lower a small bucket down and yeah. bring the water? We are taking this, um, this old polluted well, and right now uh, John is running a, a simple test using biological life forms to see what the water quality of the uh, water actually is, what we're dealing with. So instead of expensive chemical tests, we're testing the water quality with life forms. And then we're going to create a, a living machine, a biological ma machine, to purify that water to make it usable for me for agriculture or for drinking, domestic needs, depending on how clean we can get the water, it's depending what the uses will be. The first thing I think about is what kind of life that's sensitive would live in there and go find it and put it in there and see what happens. This test that we're going to devise mm -hmm. Uh, using life forms today um, is that you could test how effective it is. For example, say we were able to find Daphne or Bosnia or one of the zooplankters in this lake today. We put them in there and let's say we put them in this right now and an hour later they're dead. And then you treat them and they last, you do a 15 minute treatment and they last for two days or you recirculate it twice mm. and then they last forever, mm. then you know you've detoxified the water. Mm. This skinny plant in here, you see with the flower at the top? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the bulrush. It has incredibly <coughs> remarkable properties at purifying petroleum and carcinogenic compounds in, uh, in water. Mm. This is one of the great great plants and it was first studied by a German woman, Kate Seidel. She said, there must be genius in plants that I have to discover to heal the planet. Mm -hmm. She started out about 1948 and her work was never recognized by anybody, but she just decoded all this information on botanical plants. What you have here is a, 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 a bulrush that has um, it's kind of a, a floating. If that was cut away mm -hmm. and placed on the surface of a tank that you put the uh, well water in, mm -hmm. 
that probably has all the life on it attached to the roots needed to purify that. Right. You have, you'd have this living raft right. that's a really effective mm. uh, water treatment. Mm. That's, that's a piece of gold right there. Mm. One cell eco machine, is it all set to put the life in? Right now this is filling up with the well water to pump up to it. And this is that, that buoyant one that we found floating in. The wire comes through and it flows through this uh, series of 55 gallon drums with aquatic plants. And uh, it goes about 50 gallons per day we bring in. So every day it moves one tank, one tank, one tank. So after four days, we basically have water that's pure enough to uh, use for irrigation. To exist, man requires a continuous supply of water. Springs furnish an accessible, though limited, source. Underground water may also be tapped by wells, such as this old dug well and sweep. The final step in water treatment involves adding chlorine. This completes the sterilization by destroying all harmful bacteria and other organisms.